Alrighty guys, let's take a look at question 10.1. Now odds are guys, in your second paper, you're going to ask, be asked to prove some or other theorem. So this one is proportionality theorem. So let's take a look. It says 10.1. In the diagram, triangle ABC and triangle DEF are drawn such that angle A is equal to angle D, angle B is equal to angle E, and angle C is equal to angle F. Okay, so we already know that these triangles are similar, but we need to prove various relationships. So use the diagram to prove the theorem that states that if two triangles are equiangular, as in all three pairs of corresponding angles are equal, then the corresponding sides are in proportion. That is, prove that AB over DE is equal to AC over df okay so guys when you get a proof like this you can use other theorems already established theorems the best way to tackle this is to basically just draw this proof and understand what you can already know so in terms of this proof we already know that the line parallel to one side of a triangle divides the other two sides proportionally you can use that you just need to establish that relationship here so first we need to say we're going to construct some stuff. So by construction, let M and N lie on A, B and A, C respectively. That's basically saying that M corresponds with A, B and N corresponds with A, C. That's what respectively means, okay? The order in which you list things. Okay, respectively, such that AM is equal to DE and AN is equal to DF. Okay, so that basically what we're saying is that if you took your compass and you stretched it out to be this length over here, and then you put, took your point and you put it on A and you took the exact same length you arced over there with your compass, okay? And you got the exact same length. You would get point M, okay? And then if you took your compass and you stretched it out to be the same length as DF, and you put it and you arced it on this side, that point would be N. So we know that that line is equal to that line, and this line is equal to this line. That's exactly what we've just said. By construction, make that situation happen, okay? And then you can say draw M, N, whoopsie, M, N. Let me write that nicely. Draw M, N. So up here, you're gonna just join these two, okay? So now we know that we have a pair of sides that is equal, an included angle that is equal and another pair of sides that is equal. So by construction, side, angle, side, those two are congruent. Therefore, triangle AMN is congruent to triangle DEF because of side, angle, side, by construction. Okay, so now that we've established, we've basically taken this whole triangle and just stuck it into that triangle, okay? And now because these triangles are congruent, we know that this angle E is equal to that angle AMN, and this angle F is equal to that angle AFM. Okay, so, therefore, oh, and then again, because these angles, this angle is transferred into this triangle, and we already knew that it was equal to this, so therefore these angles are equal to each other. Okay, so now you can say, therefore, to AMN, angle AMN is equal to angle B in the original triangle by congruency. Okay, if you wanted to go the long way around, you could say angle a M N is equal to angle E, which is equal to angle B. Okay. 
Then what we've established, because we've now established that these corresponding angles in this triangle are equal, we can say that these lines are parallel. Okay, so now you can say therefore MN, MN is parallel, whoopsie, not equal to, parallel to BC because corresponding angles are equal. Remember with your theorems, you can go backwards. You can say because these angle relationships exist, they are parallel lines. Okay, and now here's where the similarity comes in. We are trying to prove that AB over DE is equal to AF over CF. Okay, so AB here, in these similar triangles, we can say that AB over AM is equal to AC over AN because of similarity and that line parallel to one side. So AB, AB over AM is equal to AC over AN because line parallel to one side of the triangle. Okay, and that's the theorem that you can already use. We've already established the parallel line relationship. And now because guys, remember we constructed AM so that it is equal to DE in the original little triangle. And AN is equal to DF in the original little triangle. So therefore, AB over DE is equal to AC over DF. And that is exactly what we had to prove over here. Okay, so with this proof, guys, you're basically trying to establish the triangles that have equal angles are in proportion. So what you wanted to do is exactly what I've circled here. You're trying to get that triangle into this one so that you can use this theorem that if you have parallel lines, these are in proportion. Okay, so make sure with your proofs, you understand which theorems you can already use, which was this one in this instance, and then establish a scenario that allows you to use that theorem. Okay, and that is question 10.1.